It's simple to set up and analyse projects in Sage Accounting, and in this quick video we'll show you how. We'll cover the three key tasks including setting up your project within analysis types, allocating transactions against projects, and then finally reporting. The first step is to set up projects as an analysis type, and then set up individual projects as categories. This is done within settings. And then in the financial settings area, open analysis types. For projects, you'll need to use transaction analysis. There are three types set up on the left, in our example, department, cost center, and project. If you don't already have one set up for projects, you can click the edit icon and enter the appropriate title. Next, you set up individual projects within the categories area on the right. Here you can enter a code and a name for your project. You should also ensure that the appropriate boxes are selected in the active area section beneath the categories list. By ticking a box, it means you'll be able to select a project when you enter these transaction types. If you do make any changes within analysis types, remember to click save. Once your projects are set up, you can then start to allocate your transactions to the projects. We'll quickly run through entering an expense and also a purchase invoice to demonstrate this. Let's start with the expense. In banking, we'll enter a new payment and choose other payment. You select the bank the expense was paid from, enter the payment method and date, and then a reference and the amount paid. Once you've entered a ledger account, you then have the analysis types that are flagged as being active for this transaction type, in our example, all three. To allocate the transaction to a project, it's simply a case of selecting it from the drop-down list. It's a simple one-line expense in this instance, so we can then click Save. When entering both sales and purchase invoices, specifying a project looks a little different. To quickly demonstrate this, we'll enter a purchase invoice. If we select a supplier, and then enter a description on the first line of the invoice, and you'll notice this time that there aren't any columns for the analysis types. Instead, you click the double chevron at the end of the item line. This displays the analysis type categories that are flagged as being active for this transaction type. You can then easily choose the relevant project. You should note that this must be done against each individual item line on the invoice. You can then save the invoice and that's it done. It's exactly the same steps for allocating sales invoices to a project. To help analyse your projects, you can run specific reports based on an analysis type category. To demonstrate this, in reporting, we'll run the profit and loss. As usual, the report is run based on the whole company, however, you can easily apply filters to the report. To filter by project, click More, choose the analysis type, project in our example, and then from the analysis category list, choose the relevant project. Once you've specified the report criteria, click Calculate, and you're then presented with the profit and loss report for your project.